What's up, everybody? Drew back at it again with another video. Today we're going to be talking about Reddit now because they just released another briefing. This one is briefing number 56, Concept Art Showcase. Let's go ahead and just hop into it. Calling all units. Welcome to the 56th edition of our bi-weekly newsletter. Today it's time for a deep dive into one of our most essential aspects of development, concept art. We will explore a general approach to everything regarding the creation of these styles for a tactical shooter, ready or not. By following the posts, we will understand the different levels of importance together with exciting behind-the-scenes graphics. In some instances, we will also be joined by one of the many remarkable artists and personalities here at Void Interactive, Rapolio. The same guy that made uh, this screen for me. He's a cool guy, not gonna lie. Introduction. Before checking behind the curtains, we must understand exactly what concept art is. To put simply, it represents the visual design generation of an item, or even area that does not yet exist. This automatically creates a story that is able to flourish into something that players are able to personally experience in several projects, including those connected to the gaming industry. Take a look at the following selection of outfits that precisely present the Los Funes Police Department's progression when it comes to the vast imagination of the artists. And then we got the picture of the uniform forms that they're going to wear so the first one is body armor pistol magazine on the right side of his belt there you got a detective uniform and detective two uniforms i believe he has a sidearm which kind of looks like that modern 1911 the golden one pretty cool looking stuff and we have the vice uniform here on the right then we have the investigator uniform to the far right both front and back it looks like i guess it's going to make sense for the area that's in the police station you know there's going to be like different types of people there that's going to be cool to see you know not everybody's wearing like the same uniform it's going to be different and everywhere else be cool pretty cool all right moving on here underneath this it says modular design for detectives in the police department or on the scene scene that's interesting Moving on here, the history and connection to Ron. Many of us are no stranger to the classics that owe their existence to this very practice. From the iconic titles like Legend of Zelda and Grand Theft Auto to mesmerizing adventures like Ori and the Blind Forest, all games have historical significance in game concept art. It represents an indispensable stage in video game pre-production, breathing life into imaginative worlds and laying the foundations for the experiences that await players. It's the same for Ready or Not, where everything must match the immersive environment, whether that be the equipment of the SWAT units, colors, or the next room that may require a tactical breach. The team at Void Interactive is working hard to bring these ideas to reality, and by using reference points, it can create an arsenal of goals for the project. Our police station rework is a prime example of what thorough early analysis can offer players when they first step into the well-built structure, together with other design departments. It can easily be said that concept art has the ability to transform into something memorable in the long run. Then we got a picture here of what looks like really something out of Resident Evil, not gonna lie. I think this is gonna be that that room with the, uh, the names on the wall we're showing all of the supporters i assume at least i hope this is that pretty damn cool looking see a guy sitting right here underneath this it says the memorial area where the shrine can be seen through the player navigation yep i wonder if they're still gonna do that because th they said that um the memorial area was supposed to be like every supporter that supported the game initially not the newer ones but you know the early early adopters moving on here giving life to the streamer and michael as discussed earlier reference points play an important role in laying the groundwork for pre-production assets looking at a recent cinematic trailer and bi-weekly newsletter number 55 we can easily inspect topics regarding michael also known as milky toes on the internet so i think that's a freaking weird ass name along with photo bashing for clothing i've been integrating artificial intelligence to speed up my workflow specifically for faces and clothing folds it helps create a likeness without using a real human's face when talking about my main inspiration i researched different youtubers and streamers to assist me in finalizing the necessary looks to create michael that was rapolio even with ready or not being his first game project rapolio's talent and attention to detail allow him to dodge obstacles while providing intuitive visions for the project combining this with the strengths of other developers the team can reach its designated goals much more smoothly and here we have a concept art of michael williams god damn he reminds me of um uh, that british I, I think he's british talk host the one that everybody thinks is annoying the chubby guy i forget his name what's he holding right there it looks like a playstation controller it's an interesting jacket he has there underneath this it says an early preview of the problematic individual michael williams before concluding our showcase we are happy to share even more ambitious foundations of the community a quick look at the debanco guards security group armed with non-lethal equipment such as pepper spray and tasers ready to defend their armored trucks from any perceived threat which um if you've ever looked around the maps you always find like these debanco cars vehicles they don't really look like armored trucks to me like they just look like um ups trucks i guess or fedex trucks maybe that's why they don't have like the best gear and stuff because these guys are just walking around with tasers and not like m4s or something these guys remind me a lot of that game the finals 
I don't know why. But anyways, underneath this is another picture of the concept art, it looks like. I'm not sure what this is supposed to be. I guess it'll tell me underneath, but maroon suit liner, jacket guard, no jacket, chest rig, tie pattern. Ooh, the guy in the middle kind of reminds me of Wesker for some reason. A lot of Resident Evil on this. Underneath this it says, armed with a powerful weaponry and still representing style. Senator formats bodyguards are no beginners in the art of primary and secondary weapon combinations. Well, obviously these guys failed because they got to him and they tied him up. So like, what does that even mean? <laughs> Unless this is like for a different level. Moving on to the next picture here. We got a picture that was actually released in their Discord. Uh, the NDA one, I believe. It's a picture of the new farm map, or at least the concept art. And I think the thing that's really interesting about this is that there's like these human looking plants that are kind of just like standing around. Like we're not exactly sure what these are. Like maybe just like somebody got a freaking thing and made them look like humans or something. Or maybe it has to do with like the deep lower like you know, that's how they died or some BS. But it's very interesting. Uh, I think I remember seeing really old concepts of that map where they were going to have like golden face masks or something like that. But yeah, it's pretty cool. I definitely can't wait to get into this level. It's going to be wild, I can tell. Underneath this, it says, last but not least, an early yet mysterious preview of the new farm. In conclusion, this concludes our 56 briefing. Be sure to tune in next time for more development news. Yeah, that's pretty much uh, everything that it has to do with anything. Uh, not a whole lot in terms of like, you know, just showing off the game. Like it's mostly concept art here. It was pretty cool. It's posted by someone named Gabe. Don't think I've heard of that person before. But yeah, pretty interesting. Let I me mean, know what your guys' thoughts are. It would be cool to actually see some of these bodyguards right here. At least, like, show some people that were at least trying to defend this guy and the bank stuff. Like, they don't necessarily need to be there to uh, hurt you or just like, oh, they tried, but they died, you know. But yeah, that's pretty much all I really got to say about that. I'm gonna end the video here. Thank you all for watching. Subscribe and do all that jazz. And I guess I'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.